So we're going to be talking about manual gearboxes and specifically the manual gearbox in the Vantage AMR. But where we're going to start the story is a fair bit further back. Now this is a beautiful 1930 Aston Martin LM4 that's currently on sale at HWM. It's a car that was raced by Bert Vitelli himself. Now the interesting thing about a gearbox of this era is this is where the phrase heel and toe comes from. As we'll see in a moment, we'll look at the, the pedal arrangement, but this car has a central throttle, and therefore, when you're braking, it's actually your heel that blips the throttle as you rev match down the gearbox. So inside the LM4 is such a special place to be, and there's wonderful details all across it, but in particular, what dominates is this stunning Jaeger rev counter. It's just, just a lovely piece to uh, to keep your eye on and we've got this exposed gearbox gate and it's so delicate as you slot it through the box and of course driving with a central throttle particularly to begin with takes all of your concentration but that is part of what totally absorbs you when driving a pre-war Aston Martin like this. So fast forward 90 years and here we are with one of 200 Vantage AMR manuals. Now the great news is the manual gearbox will become part of the standard offering in the Vantage range so it is here to stay. And this is a great gearbox so it's a seven speed manual but with a dog leg configuration. So that means that first gear is across and back towards me, reverse is up and away, but then once you come out of first gear you've then got a standard conventional six shift pattern for the remaining six gears. And the dog leg's quite a cool gearbox, it's quite a cool configuration, it's a, a setup that came from racing. The idea being is once you get out of first gear, because that just gets you going, you're into second and all the way through and it's, it makes the main gears far easier to access. Now the other great thing about this gearbox is it has a system called AM shift. Now AM shift can be switched on or off, but when it's on it does a couple of things. First of all, as I'm driving up through the gearbox, if I'm driving in anger, I can keep the throttle pinned and change gear with the clutch and it will cut the throttle automatically. So in effect, you've got a full bore up change. It's just remarkable um, and it's super smooth. Now, when you're not driving that um, committed in that committed fashion, it still works. So as you're going up the box on a light throttle, again, it will manage the throttle for you as you change gear and it smooths everything out. So the car's a real pleasure to drive around with AM shift on. Now when you come down the gearbox, it works again. And what it does is it blips the throttle, it rev matches. In effect, it heel and toes for you and gives you those perfect gear changes. Um, but Aston have spent a lot of time getting the pedals just right so that actually this is a gearbox that is a real pleasure to heel and go to heel and toe gear change with. So if I press that button once, then I'm on my own. And the spacing of the pedals here make it very easy to be braking and just flipping the throttle as I change down. And Aston have even gone as far as changing the brake pressure so that it makes it easier for you to balance the braking and the throttle on your way down the box. So this car is just set up for that full driver involvement.